Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 of the video, uh, This is uh, w um, we are in the bias right now. <coughs> um, I'm going to show you a few things that are actually missing and uh, the other things that are, are not supposed to be here. So in the AI tweaker uh, we have the uh, this feature, I mean no, the CPU uh, everything seems normal but in here I used to have the uh, uh, XMP prof profile that uh, uh, right now um, I'm not able to enable it anymore so what I can do is just uh, change the frequency if I want but I'm not going to uh, overclock because there's since two models and running on a 1333 uh, it actually probably won't be very very good for the uh, for the motherboard since it suffered uh, uh, major problems anyway so yeah, this is the frequency that I have. The DRAM timings control. You can adjust from here, no problem. And second, yeah, the third. Okay. Now if we move moving along to advance, we have the CPU the Core i7 950. Uh this feature right here. Uh uh, on the uh, old BIOS chip wasn't here exactly because this is something else that I anyway modern ordering what exactly is legacy ordering yeah I'm not sure exactly what it does but yeah the virtualization you can enable or disable yeah Intel PP uh, another feature that I have here Intel PPM configuration I never uh, this one was not present on uh, on the old BIOS, yeah. Okay, let's move to power. Suspend, as you know, probably support. This the, these things were present, yeah. The uh, AMP configuration, APM configuration, pardon. I said to control escape, so I can power on the computer without uh, using the button, yeah not important uh, the hardware monitoring okay we have the CPU running at 54 since the stock cooler uh, uh, and after I change the thermal compound with uh, uh, a brand new uh, thermal compound uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, uh, it doesn't seem to be improved much so the motherboard right now I also wanted to mention that the temperature of the motherboard uh, was on the old BIOS was higher, but due to the fact that I actually changed the thermal compound on the node bridge because they were crusty and uh, uh, it had no effect. Uh, however, and I also cleaned the VRM uh, uh, parts uh, with uh, isopropyl um, with alcohol, isopropylic alcohol. Pardon. Yeah. And here you can adjust the different settings, yeah, they were present on the old BIOS too. What is uh, exactly, okay, I'm going to show you the boot sequence, the boot disk priority. Right now I'm using the Kingston and the second is the um, DVD, DVD burner. Asus AZ Flash 2. It actually works. We can uh, enter into the flash mode, so we can. Uh, if you want to flash from here, you can do it. But uh, in my case, I'm not going to do it because uh, I'm going to. Uh, I want to break the other BIOS too because it's very hard to find, and uh, I don't want to do that since the motherboard working, and I can still uh, benefit the uh, uh, of using it. Yeah, so I'm going to get out of here right now and this is uh, save and exit okay in the part 3 I'm going to show you the software and uh, see uh, how it's performing um, and thank you for watching see you in the, in the, in the part 3